Welcome to Open Negotiation. Once you've signed up at open.com.au or via the app, then search for the property you're interested in. From here, it's really important to enter your starting price. This doesn't have to be your best price. You can even start at a level below what you think it's worth as you'll have every opportunity to improve your bid once you're qualified. If you don't register your interest by submitting a price early, you could miss out as the property could sell as early as today or tomorrow. You can also drop out if you need to, but it might mean you can't rejoin. Pressing Submit will notify the agent who will then get in touch and help you complete the documentation. If the seller accepts your terms and signs the documentation, the agent will accept you as a bidder through the app. Your starting price will then become a live bid and you'll be assigned your own unique paddle number, making you a qualified bidder. Being a qualified bidder also means you'll be notified if the final bidding stage is brought forward or when the reserve is met and the property is going to sell. So, becoming qualified early is crucial to being kept in the loop. You'll also be able to see the countdown to the final bidding stage, what the current leading bid is, and how many other participating bidders there are. During the campaign bidding stage, you can improve your price at any time by clicking on the Set Amount button and then Confirm Bid. You can also choose to bid any amount higher than the minimum bid increment before clicking Confirm Bid. In this example, we can see that there are 17 days until the final bidding stage, four bidders, and the leading bid is 620,000. The final bidding stage begins when the clock counts down to zero. To bid, press the Set Amount button and then Confirm Bid. Every time a new bid is made, the clock restarts to give other bidders two minutes to bid again. It's important to bid within the two minutes, so bid early and give yourself plenty of time. If the clock times out and the reserve is not met, the property will be passed in. The agent will then negotiate privately, usually with the highest bidder, which means you could miss out. As bids are made, the clock restarts and the leaderboard changes. The agent may pause the negotiation to talk to the seller about the reserve price or to help you or any other bidder. In this example, the property has met the reserve and will sell when the clock times out. And we're on the, market. the bidding increment may also be reduced. As you can see here, it's changed from 5,000 to 2,500. The clock restarts to give everyone a chance to bid at the new bid amount. Open negotiation allows you to increase your bid above the minimum bid increment. This buyer makes an $8,000 bid and takes the lead. No other buyers can match the bid, so their strategy has worked. The clock times out and the hammer falls. The auctioneer completes the contract, adding the purchase price and signs on behalf of the successful buyer as previously authorised. The seller signs and the sale is complete.